I think that the main part of the course, the thing that will remain with me, is that the course gave me like back the passion for oncology. Like right. when you are at university, sometimes you can get lost between all the exams, all the deadlines, all the books, all the things to memorize. Maybe you can lose that spirit, that naive enthusiasm. And when we, you are in this course, you can share your experiences with other students. You feel that there are a lot of things that you can do. Uh, you have not done enough and you, you got that spirit. You want to discover new things and maybe one day, that's a long way, but maybe one day you can switch your place from the audience to the stage in this kind of Congress. And that's really stimulating. <laughs>person is very uh, is crucial to grow up and mm. to build up a career. Antonio, you took part in the ESMO course on medical on, uh, oncology for medical students in Valencia uh, earlier this year. Just talk us through that. How helpful was that? What did that cover? The course is fundamental, I think, for any student who is interested in the field. And I think the main point is that it's not like an academic course where they explain a lot of um, data, a lot of endless lists of drugs and <laughs> lines of chemotherapy that these are things that you can easily find on the guidelines. I think the main point of the course is that they teach you an approach, a global approach to the patient. And what I really like is that something that maybe we don't imagine, the importance of a multidisciplinary team in the approach to the patient. So we, we understood, we learned that oncologist is just a piece of the puzzle in the approach to the patient. And so like, we acquired like, a mentality, the right mentality, not just you know, the data and the academic stuff. That's very interesting. So it goes, it goes beyond the academic into, yeah. the, into the practical applications yeah. of, of how you will be um, working uh, in an integrated basis, but also how you'll be working and, and treating patients. It was really an in interactive course too. There were some sessions where we discussed in little groups um, about the case. And so we divided, like uh, one group was about the staging, one group was about the diagnosis. We played and we interacted and we learned at the same time. So it was an <laughs> enjoying experience.